you know sometimes it just doesn't happen like you think it's supposed to. So that's the joy of hearth cooking. It's always a mystery. It never turns out the same way twice, and you know you just have to keep trying different things if you're cooking on different stuff. Believe it or not, it, it is it's a little tricky trying to cook three things in one day. So I really would have to give those enslaved people and other not even enslaved but people who cook on a high block a lot of credit because let's say you're having a big party, yeah. uh, you have to have many dishes. So I would imagine they would have to do some cooking and baking the day before and just heat it up uh, because the amount of coals that you need is never ending uh, when you're cooking on the hearth, especially baking. You know, for on the top and bottom. Now, you could have two bake kettles and, and piggyback them. You know, they would share the middle coals, uh, you know, stack them on, on top of the other, but we only have one bake kettle, so it kind of uh, isn't as easy. What's in the big one in the back? Just hot water. Then, you know, they would have to get water from the well and put mm -hmm. it in the pot to heat it up. And uh, that's the way they did it before they were plumbing. <laughs> If you go to the Edison homestead, uh, 1915, they have a silver stove. And an indoor plumbing, they have a yeah. pump. Yeah. 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 Yeah.